Hey everybody, welcome back to Arctic Zeus Blast. Today is July 4th, 2012. This week we have a lot to talk about. We're going to start out with Epic Duel Infernal Infiltration War. On Monday, July 2nd, the Infernal Infiltration War went live. Instead of going live last Friday after they did major bug testing. And between the Legion and Exiles, it was a back-to-back -back race. But now clearly the Legions are in the lead by about 600,000 Vault Health. Also on Monday, I posted a tutorial on the Epic Duel War and all the different things. I'm going to go over that again. Here is the daily leaderboard. And right now, Werewolf O.O 0 .0 is in the lead with almost 10,000 daily war influence. Then it'll say what faction you're in and the side you're on, Legion. Your daily war influence, I haven't played anything. Your total vault damage, I got 10,000 and I got the vault breaker achievement. And the war rank, so since I'm Legion, I'm going to head left. And again, here's the bomb bot. They did not add any credit bombs like they were going to in the video previews. But they do still have the 95 Varium, which is up from the 50 Varium in the Frostyland War last year. Continuing heading left. And then you head up, and you'll be placed into a random battle. This week in Adventure Quest Worlds, they started looking into the issue of the load lag helm issue. The latest update 11.3.300.262 or 257, depending on what web browser you're using, caused many issues with the Adventure Quest Worlds loading and your character load. They went around the game investigating it and they actually did come up with a fix. If you notice when you log in, the background is gone. That is to improve load time. However, they still recommend that you use either Internet Explorer or Google Chrome because it runs on a separate uh, Flash player than Firefox and Netscape and Opera. To check your latest version of Flash, you can go to aq.com slash play now, right click, and then it'll say about Adobe Flash Player, and then it'll say like 11.3 or 11.2, so on. Yesterday, they released the Full Moon Shop, limited time shop, that will be in game probably till Friday or next Monday. With never before seen items, this is the first time they released the shop. And then the return of the Freedom Day seasonal rare shop also this week are you prepared for the dage versus nulgith war part one next week is friday the 13th and then more chronospan chaos to help figure out what side you want to be in the war you can read the design notes they posted a few days ago dage the evil is a dark lord of the undead legion once a powerful mad necromancer dage signed Nulgut's contracts and rode the fast lane to even more strength. Eventually, a time came for Dage, like so many others before him, to fulfill his contract and pay Nulgut for his power, but he had used his new knowledge to bind a portion of the soul to an armor of his own construction. The remnant lives on and remains all the knowledge and strength of his previous life. Now Dage and Evil rivals Nulgut himself in evil power. Nulgut is an abyss general. Through the ages, Nulgut has taken many forms and been known as many names. Recently, however, it was revealed that each of the previous forms were merely larval stages of the diplomatic evolution into his current malevolent form. If you don't know, Nalgith used to be known as Millennius. Now Nalgith serves no master, only his own carelessness, lust for power, and hunger for the souls he captures through his contract. Since stage evils rise to power, it remains to be seen which of these creatures is truly the greatest evil. 